Blossom, great. Listen, listen, I gotta show you something. Where's Joey? I don't know. Listen, I was yeah, just... Later, to... Blossom. I gotta find Joey. Joey? Later. <laughs> Joey! Anthony was just... Hey, talk Blossom baseball practice. Big game. Catch you later. Bye. Looking for you. Dad! That is the last time I ever buy tires from a guy named Happy Al. The ad in the paper said they were $32 a piece. Turns out the $32 tires are one size fits all. Look, Dad, I was My wondering... tires end up costing me $92 a piece. No wonder Al's so happy. They ought to change the name of that store to Very Happy Al's. And now I am late for my session, which promises to be lots of fun. Spending all night laying down tracks for a bunch of dancing raisins. Nice talking to you, Dad. I really can't stay, baby, it's cold outside. I have to go away, but baby, it's cold outside. Da 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 you can't fool me, you pod person, you Stepford thing. What have you done with my sister? Anthony, it's me. Prove it. Uh, it is you. Hi. <laughs> but you're... you're making pancakes. You never make pancakes. Well, it's Mom's recipe. I'm gonna make a family breakfast, just like the good old days. Cool. What good old days? The good old days, before Mom left and we were still a family. Oh, I think I remember all that shouting and door slamming. That attractive young couple saying, not in front of the children. Anthony, <sighs> it wasn't always like that. Look, I'm even making funny shapes, just like Mom. Doesn't look anything like Mom. <laughs> oh... I failed my English test thanks to you. Now I have to tell Dad so he can sign it. Joey, I'm sorry. I was supposed to help you study, wasn't I? Oh, great. Now he remembers. Why didn't you remind me? Hey, I can't remember everything. <laughs> what a bummer. Here, this will cheer you up. I made those funny shapes you like. Thanks, Blossom, but even if I poured syrup over Heather Locklear, it really wouldn't make me feel any better. I mean... Why is English such an important subject anyway? 
It's not like I'm going to use it once I'm out of school. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe Dad will be in a really good mood. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for all the bills, bozo. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, deliver this. <laughs> hey, you yelled at the mailman. She had it coming. <laughs> so... How was the session? Another all-nighter? Yeah, another all-nighter. 18 hours, four notes. When this job is over, I'm going to soothe my nerves by running my nails down a blackboard. <laughs> oh, this is good timing. Come on, everyone, sit down. The, the pancakes are ready, and I have a little surprise for you. Yeah, no okay. thanks, please. Thanks. Please, together like a family. Here's a surprise. You remember when we were little and every year we would all pile into the car? Dad? What, Joey? And Mom would make egg salad sandwiches and fill the thermos with lemonade. I need you to sign something. And Dad would pack up the car and we'd all drive up to the lake. Oh, Joey. What? An F? Well, you can't accuse me of cheating. <laughs> and, and Joey and Tony would dig for worms and we'd go fishing. You're grounded. Grounded? Oh. For a month. And then, and then Dad would clean the fish, and Mom would cook the fish. I am really disappointed in you. Disappointed in me? And then we'd eat the fish. Well, what about Tony? Me? What about me? And, and we'd all sit around the fire, and you we'd know, sing all songs. I did was mess up one lousy exam, and I get grounded. Tony messed up four whole years, and he gets an apartment over the garage. What did I do? Every drug known to man. Now all I have to do is get up in the morning, and they have a parade. Hey. Cro-Magnon boy, it is not my fault you failed that test. And, and remember we, we toast those marshmallows? You were supposed to help him. I was busy. Doing what? Staying sober. You know, Tony, that excuse is getting old. Yeah? So is his conversation. And then, and then Dad would take movies? Oh, I've had it. I gotta get some sleep. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Well, guess what, guys? I've had those old movies transferred to videotape. <laughs> and I was just thinking how much fun it would be if after breakfast we all sat around and watched them together. See? Isn't this nice? <laughs> That's really great. So, did you ever learn those words? Until this year, I thought da 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 were the words. <laughs> Thanks for watching the videos with me. It was fun. Forgot how pretty your mom is. Yeah. Well, night blossom. Good night, six. I just wonder. Just wonder what? Just things. Oh, yeah. Me, too. I wonder what my husband would look like naked. <laughs> and, and if I'll laugh the first time I see him. I wonder what it'll be like to have a mortgage or a baby or breasts. I'm so glad you brought this up, Blossom. I've been dying to talk about it. I didn't bring it up. Oh. So, what were you wondering? I was just wondering what it would be like if things had worked out differently, if my parents had stayed together. That's not called wondering, that's called torturing yourself. I mean, those people in the video are so happy. Why can't I just make things the way they were? You can't. Why not? You just 
can't. I don't know why. Hey, what if we went back up to the lake? You think that would help bring my family back together? You know what brings families together? The flu. <laughs> one person gets it, and then they give it to the next one. And they all take care of each other. You go to the doctor together. You throw up together. It's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Six. I'll sleep on it. Anytime. Now can we talk about naked men? <laughs> Maybe later. Good night, Six. Night, Blossom. Dan, what are you doing? Putting up that hook you asked for. Do you think you should hire a guy to do it? Blossom, I am a guy. <laughs> Give me the drill. Dad, you know how tired and overworked you've been lately, and how the boys have been fighting, and Joey's grades kind of taking a nosedive? Actually, it had slipped my mind for a moment, but thanks for the recap. <laughs> well, I know what we can do to make us a happier family. What are you talking about? The lake, Dad. You remember the lake? Oh... Yeah, I remember that. Give me those screws, would you? So can we go? Um, I don't think so. But, Dad, we always had so much fun up at the lake. I called and the old cabin's available this weekend. Blossom, the answer is no. But, Dad, when was the last time we had a real family vacation? When was the last time we were a real family? We need to go. Can't you see that? Blossom, what's this all about? Why are you so upset? Because the last time we were up at the lake, we left something there, and I want it back. What? What do you want back? The talking, the singing, the having fun, the cabin, the crickets, the Big Dipper, the laughing, the good times we used to have. I want those back. Do you mean the lake where we went each summer? That lake? <laughs> yes. Please. All right. If it means that much to you, I guess a couple of days won't kill us. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. There. Perfect. I have one on the inside, too. Blossom. Hey, Blossom. You were right. This trip was a really great idea. And sitting in traffic is a great way to meet people. A few more hours, I'll be engaged to that girl on the hatchback. The one that looks like Raymond the Burr. That is Raymond Burr. <laughs> you know, I'm having a great time, too, Blossom. The fumes from the other cars are especially nice. Why don't you roll down your window? Maybe you can catch a buzz. Okay. Boys, cut it out. This is not Blossom's fault. I mean, how did she know we'd be trapped in a hot, stuffy car next to hundreds of other cars for hours and hours and hours. Can I say something now? You guys have some more pot shots you'd like to get in first. Oh, I do. Those egg salad sandwiches are stinking up the car. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if you're miserable. And if it's any consolation, I can promise you that there was no one in this car more miserable than me. Because I just had a thermos full of lemonade, and the next rest stop isn't for 20 miles. Happy now? <sighs> all right, listen to me, all of you. Now, the fact is, we haven't been much of a family lately. Blossom was just trying to help, so I'd like to be the first one to apologize to her. I'm sorry, Blossom. Thank you, Daddy. Boys? Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to get off at the next exit. I know a shortcut. No, don't do it!
maybe it's just a coincidence. Anthony, we have passed the same silver canoe three times. I have an idea. Let's look at the map. No map. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. We are in front of the shack with that crummy silver canoe! <laughs> gonna talk to him. I already talked to him and look what happened. Okay, I'll talk to him. Or not. <laughs> Two billion people on the road in there, all in front of me. I hate traffic. I hate it. Who needs maps, huh? I don't need maps. I hate maps. I hate road maps. I hate Everything's fine. <laughs> it's going to be fine now. It's fine. We just go back to the main road. How will that be? Fine. 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 fine, fine, fine. Careful, you two. There are snakes out there. Are there really snakes? No. <laughs> Dad, I'm really sorry about all this. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. I know you were just trying to help. It's just that we had such happy times up at the lake. Is that how you remember it? Sure. We were always laughing and singing. It was wonderful. Honey, the last trip up to the lake was the beginning of the end for your mother and me. What are you talking about? Oh, while well, you kids were in your cabin doing Peter Pan, she and I were in ours doing Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. <laughs> but that's impossible. I've seen the whole movies. You look too happy. Honey, if we'd been happy, we'd still be married. Didn't you ever love each other? Of course we did. Sit down. We loved each other so much, we wanted to have children. Before you were born, we used to come up to the lake and talk about you. We even picked out your names. If you'd been born a boy, we were going to name you Boris after my uncle. You're kidding. Yes, I am. So what happened with you guys? Oh, Blossom. What happened? Life happened, sweetie. And we just couldn't get through it together. So we thought maybe we could get through it apart. How's it working out? You tell me. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't think it has been working out lately. I mean, we live in the same house. That doesn't make us a family. I know. We need to take better care of each other. And I think when life happens to us, we should try and get through it together. I think you're right. So, you really think that there's snakes out here? 
Snakes? In a dark, damp, grassy place like this? Nah. <laughs> oh! What was that? In that slithery reptilian sound? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, that is not funny. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Listen, Joey. I'm sorry you got grounded. If you need any help with that English stuff, you just let me know, because I am right there for you. Tony, you haven't been right there for me in years. You know, it, it always used to be I could count on you. To help me with my homework, to scare me in the dark, to work with me on my pitching. Then all of a sudden, Mom and Dad split up, and when I really need my older brother, you're, like, totally gone. You're right. Well, I should have been there for you. I'm sorry. What happened to you? Joey, I don't know. I mean, I was scared of everything. You know, so I started smoking a little pot before homeroom. I took care of the mornings. Then I would drink a little bit. That covered the afternoon. Before long, I tested more substances than the FDA. How could that happen with Mom and Dad right there? Easy. Bottle of eye drops and some breath spray. I was the perfect kid around them. Plus, they were pretty busy fighting. So what finally tipped them off? It was either the cop car or the ambulance. <laughs> well, maybe if they hadn't been so busy fighting, they would have realized that you were in trouble. Yeah. You know, like when my grades went down. Yeah. You know, they... They could have worried about me. They could have looked out for me. They could have grounded me. Grounded you? Hey, how'd you do that? Do what? Bring this whole thing around to me. <laughs> it's kind of a... Big brother thing. You know, Joey, I think Dad's so hard on you because he cares about you. Yeah. Thanks. Glad I could finally be here for you. Really glad. All right. Okay. I knew it. Taste this pie. We've been lost here before. Yes, yes, the moose head. Remember, Joey went outside to see where the rest of the moose was. <laughs> hey, hey, that is not funny. <laughs> Joey's right. fell off the roof and all we had left to wear the entire week was our pajamas. Pajamas. <laughs> or the time we saw that sign that said, world's best fudge, 500 feet. And, and Dad made us get out of the car and count our footsteps. No, anytime we went to the store, she had like a cowboy hat and Mom let us walk bow-legged and talk with accents and Mom saying, oh, sorry, Dad. Oh, no, sweetie, go on. It was a wonderful time. Mom saying, get along, little doggy, while you all howled at the moon. <laughs> and afterwards, she gave you all cowboy names. And for months after it, you insisted on being called Hopalong. Oh, Hopalong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have some good memories. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good time. Good night, Ooh. Pappy. Good night, hop along. <laughs> Yo, good night, Dad. Yo, good night, son, Dad. All right. <laughs> good night, Dad. Good night, Boris. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm sorry we never made it to the lake. I hope you're not too disappointed. No, Dad. I'm not disappointed. 